What's good, YouTube? Omar here with my Islanders ketchup for, uh, not ketchup like the thing, but obviously, but for October 29th, 2013, two days before Halloween, and, oof, of course, the talk of the Islanders right now, and really the talk of the NHL is the out-of-nowhere trade that the Islanders made, trading pending free agent Matt Molson, a first-round pick this year and a second-round pick next year, to the, bu the struggling Buffalo Sabres for pending free agent captain Thomas Vanek. Now, who knows how this will work out. Thomas Vanek is obviously a great, great goal scorer and just a great hockey player all around and should make a great tandem with John Tavares on that first line. Um, I know that Matt Molson, who I am rooting for, not like I'm rooting against him, so we're like, oh, we can feel like we had a good trade. He had two goals for the Sabres last night, so congratulations to him. Uh, sucks to be in Buffalo, but hopefully he makes the most of it. He is a free agent. Maybe he comes back. No, I doubt it. But right now, the Islanders, I believe, are 4-4-3 four, four, and three through 11 games. Could be better. Could be better. We've left some on the table. We lost to the, to the Sabres when we really shouldn't have. Uh, we lost to the Flyers. Badly. And these are points that uh, you just can't let slip away. You can't come out of Buffalo with one point. You can't go out of Philadelphia. You can't play Philadelphia and get zero. It just can't happen. You've got to find a way to get points against these teams. Because when you play good teams, you might not get these points. And you need the points when you, when you can. Every point you can get in the NHL is big. Uh, that being said, Thomas Vanek is in town. Uh, now, Garth Snow, as as I mentioned in my uh, official trade video, um, Garth Snow, our GM, said that it was a move that he made, decided to make because he felt that the team wasn't playing to the potential that he hoped. And that that may, that's an encouraging sign because that shows that Garth Snow does not want to be 6th, 7th, or 8th in the East for much longer. He wants this Islander team to get rolling. I think we can get rolling, and I think it all starts tonight against a crosstown rival, New York Rangers. This is a team that is bumbling right now. Lundquist is unhealthy, and when he is healthy, he's in the net giving up goal after goal because there's no defense. Their new coach can't figure it out. Uh, definitely giving up the most goals in the NHL, I think, um, per game. And this is a team, simply, we have to beat. It's going to be a big-time game at the Garden. I believe it's the Rangers' home opener after eight or nine road games to start the season, which is ridiculous. I can't believe they scheduled that. Uh, but yeah, this is when it gets cooking. This is when the tough get tougher and win this game. Um, we have some games coming up that are going to be pushed after that, but this is a big one against the Rangers. This is a team that's struggling, struggling, struggling. The Islanders need to make sure they get Thomas Vanek some minutes, uh, some ice time, make sure that he gets in sync with the rest of his line mates, with Oposo, with Tavares, and with the defenders. And hopefully this Islander team can not, I'm not going to say keep it rolling, I'm not even going to say keep it rolling because they haven't been rolling. Hopefully this Islander team can kick it into the next gear. You know, just like Garcino said, he wants to take this to the next level. Hopefully Vanek can do that for us and we can do well in these next three games. I'll catch up with you guys after the, after these next three games. As for my next video, it's probably going to be a, or is going to be tomorrow or tonight, a New York Knicks season preview for 2013 2014. <laughs> Let's go, Islanders. Get this W tonight against the Rangers and get a streak going. Peace.